hi everyone it's pamela naturals back with another video today we're gonna do this sexy african threading hairstyle with extensions if you're interested keep watching going to be using some Mali braid to achieve this style you can use any kind of kinky hair um, or any hair for that matter but I'll be using Mali braid and I have pre-parted my hair in advance just so the video is quicker as you guys know I'm not that good with parting my hair but I really tried to make my parts neat I'm going to be using black uh, threading cotton and what I like to do is to double it up just to give it a little bit of strength and also to tie it at the end or one of the ends to make a knot so that it's easy for me to grip when I first start threading. And I'm just going to use this uh, crocheting hook, if you may, and I'm going to use some T44Z, T444Z <laughs> uh, and a leave-in conditioner on my hair just to moisturize it even further. It is pre-moisturized, but I just want to give it that extra oomph because this is a long-term protective style and I will be leaving it in for at least one full month, so four weeks. Scalp care is crucial when you're going to do a long-term protective style because you want to make sure that you minimize buildup but also reduce itching and flaking and you know any problems on your scalp. Still keep your scalp nice and healthy. So that's why I use T444Z on my scalp because it works really good at preventing age dandruff and also um, aids in hair growth and it has a really moisturizing effect so I ended up using it on the entire shaft of my hair. After lightly detangling my first part of hair I go ahead to start threading and what you want to do is hold the hair quite firmly at the base not too tight but firm enough and then uh, pass the thread a few times to secure the part. Next you want to grab your crocheting hook and open it before passing it through the base of the hair and once you're done with that you want to grab your hair so whatever hair you're using Mali braid whatever it is and hook it onto the hook <laughs> i know that sounds funny but you want to hook the hair close the hook before pulling everything through quite gently but firmly to allow the hair to go through the um, the base of your part after that you want to pull one part of the hair and make sure you've got equal parts and then all you need to do is continue threading your hair and that's pretty much it. Once done with the threading, you want to make a knot at the end of the threaded part just to secure everything and allow the hair to stay firm and in place and not unravel. And this is really important so that your style stays intact. One thing you also want to do once you're done threading your part is to cut the ends or the you know the thread that's left over just to make sure it looks nice and neat and also that the hair is trimmed at the ends not your hair but um, you know the hair extensions so once again secure the base of one part of hair hook the hair onto your crocheting hook and uh, pass the extension through ensure that you've got equal lengths of hair on either side and then continue to thread your um, your part So here's a cool little trick that I use to just make sure everything is in order as I do my African threading and that is to tie the threaded hair at the back together 
and just keep adding here to the back that just keeps everything nice and neat and um, in order So almost done guys. I love this style because it is different. It's unique. It's very much authentic and very much African. Um, when we were growing up, this would be considered, you know, a style for people that are probably not that well to do and probably don't have money to buy, you know, expensive hair extensions. But African threading is sexy guys. Embrace it. It's beautiful. It's you know authentically African and you can style it in so many ways um, which means that it's also versatile and it doesn't have to be unprofessional and something that we're embarrassed about finished guys and it didn't even take me that long look how beautiful this hair looks it's so chunky um, it's juicy I wish I did have a little bit of color with my kinky hair but I didn't I love that it looks natural it actually looks like my hair and it looks about the same length as my hair which I like um, and I just ended up using more T4040Z on my scalp um, just to get a couple of more areas, you know, that I may have missed initially. Uh, and then I am going to go ahead and accessorize my African threading. Like I said, this style is not boring at all. You can put it up in different kinds of buns to the side, up straight, you know, a little bit of a lower bun. You can, you know, have a half up, half down style going on, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, there's so many ways to rock this style and you don't have to be boring with African threading. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can try this style with or without extensions. Until next time, it's Pamela Naturals. Ta-da!